All you have to do to be successful in investing is set up a Roth IRA, $6,000 a year, and invest it into an index fund, and you'll be wealthy. No, that's not right. I see so much of this on Twitter, and I see so much of it on YouTube, and it is so wrong. There is a better way over the next 22 years to invest $132,000 than put it into an index fund. There is a much better way you can buy investing in the companies that are going to change the way you live, much as there are four companies that if you would have invested in the last 22 years that changed the way you live. And it was apparent. All you had to do was pay attention. And it's going to happen again. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it's going to happen and how you should invest your $6,000 a year over the next 22 years. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. So what am I talking about? A strategy that will give you 3,546% average return on your investment over the next 22 years. Well, first of all, you got to understand what the stock market's all about. It's a, the measurement of the success of companies to bring you goods and services and successfully doing it. And w if you'll recognize that our economy, our world is changing every year and getting better. I mean, if you if you pull back from the stock market and look at it on an annual basis or a 10-year uh, basis, you'll see the stock market's just going up. It always goes up. It is just disturbed at times by stupidity, by our government, by our banks, by our our, our uh, uh, medical system. It's it's disruptions on a negative that get in the way of the disruptions on a positive end. Our world has consistently got better. If you got a great grandfather, go talk to him about the horse and buggy days. Ask him before what what was here before airplanes. These things all changed and made our lives better. So it's only the the disruptions, the the, the stupidities, the banking system, or the over exuberance, or the government throwing money into the market. That's what disrupts it. If on the other hand. On a positive end, technology is changing our world so rapidly that it, it, you know in your heart it's going to get better. So all you have to do is to identify the companies that are going to get better. Now, a lot of people have said, and I see it on Twitter and I see it on YouTube, all you need to do is dollar cost average into an index and you'll be fine. I think that's just damn stupid. That's basically saying, okay, I'm okay with average. That's who I am. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm just an average guy. No, I'm not. I'm smarter than the rest of the people in this world because I study it and I work at it. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. Do not accept average. When someone tells you just go for the index fund, well, that's also just go for a C average and you'll be fine. No, go to win. And you can win if you'll identify that the world is changing. How is it changing? Where can I participate in the change? I can't go and in, invent artificial intelligence and machine learning. That's not within my capability. But it is capable, I am capable of finding the people who are going to do it or rec recognizing that's the next specs change. Now let's find the company that's going to implement that and forget about those damn index funds. Let's go after the winners. So what I want to do is show you how it worked in the past so that you can understand how it will work work in the future. Now, a lot of people say, yeah, but there are these downtimes. Study it. I, I did a video with Mark, and he showed me that sometimes, Carrie, it takes 26 years for the market to recover. 
Well, yeah, it does when the technology isn't coming as fast as it is now. I don't care what happens. It isn't going to take 26 years for this country to get back on its feet from whatever happens in the next two years. Is it going to take 26 years to recover from this inflation? No, no. No, the world is changing. So what I did was create a chart of past history to show you what you would have received from 2020 through 2022 if you invested in the Dow index, in the S&P index. Oh, no, you got more aggressive and you invested in the uh, NASDAQ. I want you to see what your return would be. And then I want you to see if you will just pay attention to the change that's happening, recognizing that artificial intelligence, machine learning, medical care is turning to medical cure, that we're probably going to go into space, that we're probably going to have a a computer implanted in the back of our head, that this change is coming, whether you want to admit it or not, And that's where you want to invest. So let me take you to this chart that I created for you on Excel. And I'll put a link in the the, uh, uh, description uh, so that you can get a PDF copy of these charts that I'm about to show you. So watch this. Here is a spreadsheet that I created to compare the rates of return from 2000 to 2022 on the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and what I call the disruptors, the companies that changed the way I lived since 2000. And I'll get into that a little deeper. But I hear a lot of people saying, all you've got to do is put uh, commit so much a year, dollar cost average, into an index fund, and you'll have all that you need, and you'll just be fine. Well, I want you to know exactly what you're going to have. So what I did was I said, okay, if I put $6,000 a year into the Dow index oh, since 2000, to 2022, what would I have? And as you see, in 2000, it was down 6.17%. So I ended up the year with less than I started. I ended up with $5,630. And it went on year after year and had a return. So my 6,000 times 22 years turned into $344,952. That's if you had done just that in the uh, Dow index fund. But let's say you went to the S&P 500. That's where everybody says, just invest in the S&P 500. Do the same thing, 6000 a year. Now, yeah, you did better. You ended up with $436,746. Ah, now let's say you got really aggressive and you put it in the NASDAQ. Again, these are actual returns. This is the first year you put into the NASDAQ, you ended up, your 6000 turned into $3,643. Then it turned, your 12000 turned into seven hundred or 7613 But wait, it caught on, it did fine. You ended up in 2022 with $602,000. That's better than the 344 or the 437. But what if, just what if, you had read and you understood that change is what drives values of stocks. Those stocks that come in and disrupt the current situation and change the way you live, make your life better. And I'll explain what those disruptors are. The first year, you lost your tail. You you went into those disruptors. We call it the digital revolution. And your 6,000 turned into 1,711. You made a big mistake. But hang in there. These are the companies that are going to change the way you live. Look at that number. If you had done that, if you had paid attention and you understood what the digital revolution was all about, what search was all about, what social media was about, all about, what e-commerce was all about, and you invested in four stocks, 
you'd have $4,812,000. Compare that to these other numbers. So I would ask you, if I could show you this investment philosophy, that you invest in change, you invest in the companies that are going to change the way you live, and then you, you make a profession out of it. You study it, just as if you were going to be a neurosurgeon. Could a neurosurgeon accumulate $4.8 million above and beyond his cost of living over the last 22 years? Probably not. But if you did your homework, understood Carrie's philosophy, best of us investors philosophy, you could do this again. And I'll explain to you how it can happen year after year after year. Yeah, you'll have some times when you're down 71%, you're down 17%, but then you're going to have times when you're up 78% because the technology is proving itself. All right, let's talk a little more in depth about that. Disruptors, as I call them. Well, I go back to 19... Uh, 82. The first disruptor was a, a guy by the name of Steve Jobs and uh, Steve Wojcinek and the introduction of Apple. And that was followed by in 1987 by a guy by the name of Bill Gates and Steve Allen. And they introduced the Windows system, Microsoft. And that was followed by in 1998, a guy by the name of Jeff Bezos. And he introduced us to e-commerce and Amazon.com. And then that was followed by two guys by the name of Sergey Bream and Larry Page, and they introduced us to Google Search, which turned into YouTube as well. And those companies, what I did was go back to 2000, take their average, re their return, each one of them, uh, as you see, and Google didn't come into the picture until 04, and then put them averaged them over that year. So that 71, uh, minus 71% is the minus 71% you see here. So that's how that evolved. And I did the same thing then year after year, and I created the average return of these four stocks over the last 22 years. And that's how we got to where we are right now. How are $6,000 a year turned into $4.8 million? So that's my take on just invest in index funds and dollar cost average and you'll be fine. No, you won't. You'll be average. Did you hear that word, dollar cost average? Index fund, that's a C. That's a C. If you're okay with a C, fine. I want an A+. Plus. I, I want a, not even a 4.0. I want a 6.0. Okay? So I believe I can achieve a 3,546% return on investment over the next 22 years. Now, is it going to change? Is, is it going to be Apple and Google and, and Microsoft and NVIDIA? Are there going to be other stocks that are going to step in? Yeah, I, I think Elon's going to come up with um, uh, this neuroscience thing that he's going to do in your head. I think we're going to go to uh, clean air and, and, um, and, and wind turbines and solar systems I, and, and a vertical uh, horizontal or a vertical gardening. And, there's a, and so where do you find those? Well, they're in private equity. They're, they're where the smart guy, the rich guy, is investing today in the change that's coming in five years. How do you become aware of that? did a video just uh, yesterday uh, where I, I interviewed Georgie of Disruptor. Disruptor. Dis, disruptor. Uh, and they have an app, and I'll show you the app. 
on on my phone where you can go in, whether you're, and and you gotta be an accredited investor. And what is that? An accredited investor is someone who has uh, over a million dollars in a brokerage account or accounts and can prove it, or has, can show that they have had a income in excess of $200,000 in the preceding two years, or is a licensed to security broker, such as I used to be. I was a financial advisor. I had a Series 7 license. That would make me qualified as an accredited investor. In essence, all they want to know is you know what the hell you're doing, and you're not getting into something that's over your head. And so that's what that's what you have to do. And But get this Disruptor app, even if you're not a a uh, accredited investor. So you can see what accredited investors and what private equity is investing in. Okay. So I'll put a link to where you can go to the app. It's, it's, you can carry it on your phone and you can pick it up and it will show you the companies that they are making available to accredited investors. So that's how you stay ahead of the game. Jeff Bezos said at, at some point, or, or, or Jeff, it will Amazon always be one of the leading stocks? He says, no, we'll be replaced. Someone will come up with a better mousetrap than Amazon and they'll replace us. But for right now, they're doing quite well. Uh, they own the data, just like Microsoft and Apple and Google, and that's where the next revolution is. It's around big data. It's artificial intelligence, machine learning, and then after that, quantum computer computing. Put that on your memory list as well, because when that comes, the whole world changes another time. And then, of course, there's the metaverse. These are the changes that will take will be the companies you want to be in le- invested in maybe 10 years from now. But you need to keep up on it. And, and the, how do you keep up on it? Read. Read constantly. In my, in my description, you're going to find about seven books that I recommend that you read just to get a knowledge of how the world works and how this geopolitical system works and, and what you can expect in the future. So that's how you get ahead. Now, if you want those charts, if you want a chance at getting a 3,540% return on your investment over the next 22 years, as you invest 132,000 into your Roth IRA, that's how you do it. Get, go get that chart and prove to yourself, yeah, this could happen because it happened before. All you have to know is which of the stocks are going to do that. And that takes some work. Or you could take the shortcut and that's go to bestofusinvestors.com, find our link to our Discord. And that's where I discuss this every Friday at our stock talks with those members of our Discord. It's that easy. It's a team sport. Understand this. You cannot win at this game. Either, well, you can win and get a C average by investing in the, in the Dow or the, the um, what would that be, the, the uh, S&P 500 or the NASDAQ. You can get a C, but if you want an A+, plus, you got to do some work. And I'm here to help you. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor, been in this business for most of my life, and uh, I enjoy it. And I enjoy sharing this kind of knowledge with you. I'll do some more tomorrow.